Hi and welcome to this week's workout video. We're going to start with mezzo di voce arpeggios. So we're going to do this. Okay, so let's start there. Um. Now, the idea of these is to um, start the sound where it would start by the laws of physics rather than where you think it should start. And that's why we do it quietly because you have less of a preconceived idea about how it works um, or where it should resonate. So the idea is that you, you uh, do it easily. If you can't crescendo a lot, that's fine. Just don't use any throat muscles. If you don't feel you can go higher, don't go higher. Just keep repeating the same one, okay? But let's try here. Try and keep your tongue in the same position. Remember, it's more important that you do it well in that you do it with your breath than it is that you that you make um, that you make the sound get very loud, um, or that it's in the bang in the middle of the note, or that you can do it higher. It's the important thing is getting this principle that the breath runs the voice. Okay, try here and. And you'll notice I'm deliberately avoiding um, getting to a stage where I might want to grip on the high note, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Basically, high notes are supposed to be reinforced falsetto anyway. Okay. And... Mm. So for our next exercise, we're going to do this. So we get that release of your stomach muscles in between every single note on the bounces. And then this trill where you've got to try and keep the sound absolutely smooth. Don't try and articulate those notes. I don't, I don't want to hear or anything like that. Direction. Okay, and <laughs> try if you can to keep the sound starting up here. Okay, and Work your way back down.
quite useful having worked your way up to work your way back down because very often if you find that you've gone um, to the top your voice will have turned into a different position and we want to try and maintain that feeling as you come down rather than letting the voice collapse into your throat very often we will start the sound ah, um, but what by the time we get to the top ah, and then if you can maintain that the bottom note then becomes it's a big difference. So if you can use what you learn at the top and try and keep it in the same position as you come down. So the next exercise we're going to do works on this figure. Etc. And it works up through a scale. We're going to do it slowly and quietly to begin with. So keep the sound moving through your head. There's a lot about stamina and a lot about concentration in this exercise. Okay, and. Come back down. As you get more used to this exercise, you can go for longer with the breaths. I, I breathe after long notes where necessary, but the aim should be to get to halfway um, in one breath and then, then come all the way back in one breath. You might not do that when you're doing it slowly and quietly, uh, and that's okay. So now we're going to do it fast and quietly. And... <laughs> And then, as usual, we speed it up to um, to loud and fast. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, 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 oh. What's really important there is so long as you can hear in your head that figure then you're okay you don't need to be excuse me you don't need to be hearing it clearly um, in your voice as you do it fast just when you do it slowly make sure those notes are all there and then as you speed it up trust the direction of your breath to hold that for you okay For the next exercise, we're going to uh, work our way downwards and we're going to start um, up here. And it's going to be um, it's going to be an arpeggio downwards. And we do on the first note, just to get the breath going, we do a 
ha. And then we sing, do, re, mi, si. Now this is an exercise that we only do quietly. Um, and it just helps the flow of your breath. So we get, ha, do, re, mi, si. And you pour tomento between all of those notes so that we're singing without any muscle at all as you come down through the through the through the um through the scale okay let's try that and and what i want you to watch out for is that we don't do i want you to try and keep the feeling you're still singing the top so once again and Try to go between the notes on your breath with your mouth open and don't anticipate the consonant. Then do the consonant as quickly as you can. just try and make sure that these bottom notes still don't fall down into your throat so you're still sending breath higher and but don't be trying to lift to get there don't be looking for it low notes you will find your vocal cords close as if you're speaking but your breath still needs to go in your head make the last two or three but but it's worth just just even miming along to it but just try and send the breath and see if your vocal cords react by joining in so we're going to finish off with uh, some minor arpeggios just because it's quite good for you not to do everything in a minor way in a major way sorry so we're going to have this and i want just slowly and quietly Okay, and the break of your voice there uh, or some of you will have been in the break of your voice already 
just make sure that you don't add any tension to it. Just let it be feeling really loose and airy, okay? If you're on a bad day or a day when you feel tired, that's the way in. Okay, we're going to go back down and we're going to speed up the process. So, still with an O at the top and... Good. Now, finally, we're going to go back down and we're going to do it loud and fast. Okay, here we go. And... Oh, I forgot to say it, keep it on R now. And hopefully the natural term will be there because you practiced it in the other ones. I'm still hearing an O in my head as I go to the top, even though I'm not making it now. right when your stomach muscles just pull in underneath you. Well done. Enjoy working with that this week and we'll see you in the class.